Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello everybody. How are you all doing? I hope everybody is doing great. Yes, so Komal ma'am is back again. Hello children. Welcome to an amazing, amazing session. And it's a scratch art course. And today it's a class 2. And children, today we are going to enjoy a rhyme of, a, of an hour. Yes, but before that, let me ask you that did you all watch the video? How to submit your work? If you have skipped watching the video, do not worry because Komal Ma'am is going to play one more time just after the session. Okay, my dear children. So, are you all excited for today's class? Everybody, super excited. Show me your thumbs up and make your thumbs dance. Lovely. So, I am really very happy children that you all have joined the class and you all are ready with all your drawing materials. Right, Bachas? Are you all ready with all your drawing materials? Fantastic. So, my dear children, just get ready, pedi. With all your drawing materials, we are going to do a scratch art. And today, we are going to make it out. But before that, we are going to enjoy an action song. Are you ready? Ready? Are you going to do the action along with Komal Ma? Pakka chakka. Then come on, everybody. Flap your wings and fly around. Fly around. Fly around. Flap your wings and fly around like an owl. Come on everybody. Flap your wings and fly around. Fly around. Fly around. Flap your wings and fly around like an owl. Open your eyes and wide and big. Wide and big. Wide and big, open your eyes wide and big, like an owl, like an owl. Land on the ground, on ground, land on the ground, just like an owl. Just like an owl, just like an owl. Turn your head and say hoop, and say hoop, and say hoop. Turn your head and say hoop, like an owl, like an owl. Flap your wings.
six and five around. Fly around, fly around, flap your wings and fly around, just like an owl. Very good, my dear children. Come on, everybody, clap for yourself. Amazing. I am super proud of you all. Fantastic children. You all did an amazing job. So come on, give me a high five in the air. Awesome, awesome children. So this was all about a cute little owl. But children, after this rhyme, are you all ready to do a scratch art of an owl along with Komal Map? So come on, my dear children, get all your art supplies. I'm going to shift the camera towards the workstation. Okay, ready, buddy, ready, buddy. Then come on, let's get started. I'll shift my camera towards the workstation. Okay, children, come on, let's get started. So for today's art, we will require A4 size white sheet. We will require oil pastel. So children, today oil pastel are really very important. If you will do it with the wax crayons, if you will do it with the pencil colors, then the results won't come. Okay, so for scratch art, the most important thing is this oil pastels. Then we will require watercolor, black color. We will require black color and it's a poster color. Okay, we will require a thick painting brush. See, I am going to use a thick one, not the thin one. Okay, we will require a thick painting brush and then you can use a plastic bowl or your katori, anything or a glass or something to fill it with the water. Okay, and we will require a plastic scale. So if you want to use a, your scrapper, then you can use that as well. And if you don't have a scrapper, then the plastic or a still scale will also do. Okay. So these are the things which we are going to need today. So come on, let's get started. So what we are going to do first of all, we are just going to cover the full page with oil pastel. You can do any designs. Okay. Anything, anything you can just do it. So what I'm going to do is, I am just going to make circles first of all with the dark blue color. But remember use oil pastel. Okay. Come on. Everybody take your oil pastels. Keep your paper in a standing position. Today we are going to keep our paper in a standing position. And take oil pastel and start coloring the paper. We are just going to do random coloring. Okay. Few circles here. Few circles here. I am just going to make circles with the oil pastel and see like this light light coloring we are going to do no you have to hold the oil pastel nicely and press a little come on everybody press a little so that the texture comes beautiful okay we are just going to press it nicely over here also just make a circle and if you want to make small big it's up to you Okay, and just rub it nicely. Anyway, you can just make your circles and you can rub it nicely like this. So that afterwards, when we will do the scratching, the effect will come amazing. Okay, so just rub it nicely. Come on, everybody. And if dust particles are there, the uh, oil pastel crayon particles are there, you have to blow it with your mouth. Okay, come on. Don't blow it with your, no, don't uh, just smudge it with your hand. Okay, children? Awesome. Come on. Just take any of your favorite color and start making circles like this. You can just make the circles or anything, anything. The main motto is that we are going to cover our paper with oil pastel. Okay? With different, different colors. See? So I have used blue color in this much area. Come on everybody. I can see my children are doing fabulous job. Yes. So you can do any design, anything. Just cover the full page with your oil pastels. Okay. But yeah, it should not be light. It should be a little dark. Okay. See, now I'm going to make one border. And inside that, I'm going to fill red color okay you can also do the same thing 
make another border and fill it up with the red color you can choose your favorite color i am choosing red color i'm going to make another border first let us all make borders around the circles which we have made and this distance should be uniform uniform in the sense not too big not too less okay make a circle nicely and now we are just going to fill up the color press the little and do it okay i know it is a little tricky thing which we are going to do today because to cover the full page with the oil pastel is little tricky right but i know my children are going to do it nicely so just cover it nicely see now coming to the another circle here the thing is we just have to cover the full page with the oil pastel any design is allowed anything because ultimately we are going to cover it with the black post color okay so just cover it nicely with the red color like this come on everybody just do the red color nicely i am just going to cover blue and red nicely like this fill it up over here as well everywhere we are going to fill it up okay everywhere and it's done once it is done i am going to blow it nicely ha huh? so that's the reason i am blowing it with my mouth done everybody we are not in a hurry you can take your time and you can just color the way you want okay just make it beautiful and remember that no white space is seen okay we do not want to see any white space so come on after red i am going to use yellow color and i am just going to make circles like this with yellow color only in two portion i am using yellow color now if i use here then it will get mixed so let me use yellow over here it's fine you can use anywhere okay ultimately we are just going to cover the page and over here as well okay and it's done so this is how i have used yellow color see if i use yellow here then it will get merged and it will not look nice so i am just going to do yellow at the corners and now i'm going to change the color i have taken orange color that is orange oil paste and i will just cover the one circle with the orange oil paste okay like this cover it with the orange oil paste done now see your white space was left so i covered it nicely now what are we going to do we can use different different colors and we can just cover the remaining portion as well we can even use dark green color so i'm just going to use dark green color and over here i'll just color it with the dark green shade you can use any color but make sure no white space is left we just required that much thing that no white space should be there okay then which color should i choose mm -mm 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 -mm. let me choose sky blue color now remember children we will use different different colors so uh, try to choose different different colors from your oil pastels right we do not have any one particular color in our crayon box right so there are different colors so try to choose different different colors in a good color combination okay i hope my children are doing it yes okay wonderful we are just going to fill up the remaining portion now wherever there is a space left we can just fill it up nicely i'm going to fill it up with the sky blue color here 
I'm going to do it nicely, no white space. I'm going to leave and it's done. Okay. See, if your also space is there, we can just cover it with any of the color, any color. Okay. Our main motto is to cover it with the oil paste. Okay. So see, now I'm going to take a little darker shade of red and I will do it over here in this much portion. Okay. Come on. I'm going to fill it up over here nicely with the red color and it's done you can choose your favorite colors and you can just keep on doing it over here i'll use purple color that is a darker shade yes i'll use purple color so use purple color any color you can use okay any color you can use and just make sure that no white spaces see see we are coming up now and wherever there is a space left we will try to cover it with different different colors see now i am even going to use yellow ochre color yes we can even use brown yellow ochre any color but try to use different different colors over here also i am going to use yellow ochre color Yes, like this. Okay. And it's done. Now, let us use a little darker shade of blue. A very dark shade. Yes, this is a very dark shade. But it's absolutely fine. We can use that. Over here in the topmost portion. Like this. Okay. Then, let me use orange color. Yes. I am going to use orange color. Over here. In this much portion. So basically we will just cover the remaining portion. With the orange. And with the sky blue color. Okay. We will just use sky blue, orange. Any color. So this is how it is going to look like. See. And once the coloring is done, we will just hold the paper and we will just dust it. Okay. So all the dust will go away from the paper. So children, this is how we are going to do. Okay. So what we have done is. We have just covered the full paper with the oil paste. You can just create any design, anything and just try to cover the full paper with oil paste. No white space should be seen. Okay. Yes. If you can see a little white space, you can just take any one color and you can try to cover it. Okay. Wherever there is a space seen, you can just fill it up with the color, any color. Okay, so this was the first step of our scratch art. Now the next step. Now we will not require oil paste. So you can keep all the things aside. Now we will require painting brush and we will require this black oil paste. Okay, you can even take any rough paper. You can keep it down so that the it doesn't get dirty. The table doesn't get dirty. And we are just going to give the strokes over here everywhere okay and remember children whenever we use poster color sit with a napkin or a tissue paper and if your hands are getting dirty do not worry we are going to wash it up later on okay so come on take a painting brush and we are just going to paint the full paper remember children we are going to paint this full paper with the black color. Okay. Yes. You need to paint the full paper with black color like this. It's absolutely fine. It's not going to get messy. There is something special which I am going to show it to you. It's okay. So don't worry. Just take a painting brush and paint it in one direction. Like this. Okay. Come on everybody. 
just paint it in one direction nicely okay see the main thing is that you need to cover the full page with the black color okay the paint should not be too thick and it should not be too thin as well the consistency should be medium okay so that it get dried also easily we need to do something on this so we need to make sure that it gets dried up also easily okay so just give beautiful strokes like this and cover the full paper with the black color okay yes just cover it nicely see i have taken only little amount of black color and i am stretching it by adding few drops of water yes so you can also do the same don't use too much of water but we are just going to take a little amount of water and we will just paint it nicely okay yes we are just going to take this rough paper on another end and we can just hold our paper hold your paper from one end and then just stretch the color okay yes don't forget to leave white or rough paper below or else your desk will get dirty come on everybody let's paint the full paper with the black color you can just dip a little and then stretch it okay remember the color should be little thin otherwise it will get a lot of time to get dried up and the output will not come okay so make sure that you use the proper consistency for this art not too thick not too thin as well and remember we are not going to leave any white space now i am just going to do the topmost portion you can just hold it from one end and you can just stretch the color so that it gets covered nicely everywhere okay children see over here i am just going to stretch the color stretch the color means color is already there and we will add a little bit of water and we will paint it so can you all see the full paper we have just covered it with the black color this is how it's going to look like okay and you can just keep the painting brush aside and now allow it to dry so i can see my children are following the steps so well just keep a little you know something over here so that the paper doesn't get fly away and we have covered the full paper so nicely with the black color right children i think our paper has got literally dried up nicely so now it's time to draw a beautiful owl okay so come on everybody we are going to take a scale and we are going to draw a cute little owl okay so come on what are we going to do on the top we will start with the face of the owl so we will scratch it okay make a circle circle like this okay make sure that you don't scratch it with your nail ha huh? i don't want my children to scratch it with their nail see how it is going to look like one c we have made and from here we will make another c like this okay your scratch art will be beautiful only and only if it is dried up okay if it is not dried it's okay you can take your time but do not draw and over here just make a beak of this owl okay come on just make a cute little beak of this owl this owl has got 
circle circle eyes and has got a triangle shaped beak okay got it yes and now we are going to draw a big big circle circle eyes so come on let's draw it for that just make a circle shape like this okay children if you want to use scraper you can use scraper if you want to use your pencil which is without lead you can use that as well okay see this is how we are scraping it so the inner colors which we have drawn are coming out so nicely isn't it and now i am just going to make a beautiful eyes like this so these are the eyes of the owl okay over here i am again going to make a circle it's okay if the circle is not proper see komal ma'am circle is also not getting proper but it's okay don't try to draw it with the you know any circle object or something let it be like this okay and inside that just try to draw it with this eyeballs nicely like this see okay just scrap it like this and blow so look at the beautiful beautiful eyes of this owl and beautiful beak as well isn't it yes now what are we going to do we are just going to leave a little distance and make a sleeping line and we will just give a border everywhere okay throughout the beak come down go back take a turn and join it like this okay so this is a beautiful owl which is ready hai na yes wonderful now if you want you can even make patterns inside this see i am going to make standing standing strokes everywhere okay yes owl should look really beautiful so just make standing standing strokes in between this line be very careful that your paper doesn't get tear off ha huh, children it's very important to see that your paper doesn't get tear off don't press a little like this everywhere i am just going to make standing standing strokes like this okay touch the two lines and make standing strokes got it so see this is how it's going to look like so this is the face or the eyes which we have created of the owl now over here just make one triangle and over here make another triangle what is this the ears right inside that we will make one more triangle like this and we will just scrap it to get the beautiful color okay see scrap it nicely so we will get a beautiful colorful ears and blow it blowing is really very important while doing scrap art okay it's a scratch art where we need to blow again and again now for the wings just make a slant line like this and this line will take a turn and will come here okay come on just make a curvy curvy line and make a slant line also i'm going to make a little thick okay you can also make it little thick like this and a pointed one like this see 
how beautiful the wings are looking isn't it and inside this we will just make v v okay just make v come on everybody we all know how to write v children use scale use pencil use sketch pen top any sharp object to scratch it okay see this is how it's going to look like just make different different v can you all see the colors which we have filled are coming out so nicely yes isn't it so this is the reason why we have painted why we have colored the paper right the outputs are coming so beautiful right now what are we going to do from here we will just make a big big tummy okay so come on how we are going to make from here go back again if it is little light you can just try to make it again a little thick one okay i am going to make a little thick so i scratch it and i go up like this it should be little dark okay yes a little bold because it's a body so try to make it little thick but make sure that you don't tear your paper and look at this beautiful tummy which we have created isn't it wonderful now for the legs just make one curve another curve one curve another curve these are the legs okay children yes now inside this we can make different patterns i will try to make hearts yes we can make hearts see like this any pattern we can make okay try to make hearts or any pattern you can make polka dots anything anything we can make we can just make polka dots we can make hearts we can make jalebis i am just try making hearts like this randomly okay and look at the beautiful picture which we have got it's looking so pretty isn't it yes so these are the hearts or the pattern which we have created you can even just make a dotted line everywhere if you wish you can create your own way okay it's up to you now where is this owl is going to sit on a on a on a table no on a twig right so come on from here we will make one sleeping line which will just go like this one more sleeping line it's like a branch okay so you can just create branches like this and we can just create few leaves also like this okay like this we can just make few patterns also on the twig like this it's up to us okay so the beautiful twigs are ready the beautiful owl is also ready now over here the feathers will come okay so for that just make one curve make another curve and make one more curve for the feather and you can just do the shading you can just crack it okay see like this and the beautiful feathers will get embossed try to scrap it nicely so the black portion will get vanish these are the beautiful feathers of the owl okay and it's done see it's looking so 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 pretty now it's a night scene or a day scene i can see my children are doing fabulous job awesome awesome children you can take your time and you can do it okay it's absolutely fine 
but you all are doing an amazing job. I'm really very happy for that. So now tell me, is it a daytime or a night time? Yes, it is going to be a night time, right? So what are we going to do? We can make a sun, right? To know, we all know that uh, during night it is sun, right? Yes or no? No, it's not a sun. It's a moon in the sky, right? Very good. Good job. So we are just going to make a moon in the sky. So make one curve, cover it with the another curve. And we are going to scrap it. See, this is the reason why I have done yellow color so that we were supposed to draw moon and the moon can be yellow in color. So this is why we have done yellow in the corners. Okay. So this is how we are going to make moon. And now we will also make stars. See, slant, slant, slant and slant. Okay. This is how we are going to make stars. So come on, slant, slant, slant and slant. Okay. Just make stars. Don't make too many. Just make few little stars in the sky. Just make slant, slant, slant and slant. And we are done. One more star. Slant, slant, slant and slant. And scrap it from the center. Okay. Yes. Try to make over here as well. And scrap it from the center. Come on everybody. Scrap it from the center. Yes. And our beautiful stars are ready. Yes. So look at the beautiful picture which we have created today. Wow. If it is little wet, you can just allow it to dry. But I can see all my children have done fabulous job. That's amazing. We can even make eyelashes of our owl like this okay and a beautiful scratch art is done oh my god i can see my children everybody is doing an amazing job come on everybody give me a high five my hands have got dirty but it's absolutely fine we can wash our hands later on after the session okay oh my god you all did an amazing job. Super proud of you all, my dear children. Come on, give me a high five in the air. Awesome, awesome children. You all did an amazing job. I am super proud of you all that you did it so nicely. Wonderful children. I'm really happy that you did it nicely along with Komal Ma'am. But what are you going to do now? I want everybody to hold this amazing masterpiece in your hand. Click good good pictures and share it with us on the portal. How to submit your work? You have to look a video. Okay, just look at the video which I am going to play just after the session. Please have a look at the video and do submit your work on time. Pakka, are you all going to do that? Sure. Pinky promise. Fantastic. I will be waiting children. So please, please, please submit your work on time. And yes, here comes a video for you all. Please have a look at the video and do submit your work on time. Okay, so see you all soon in the next class children. In next class, it's a surprise for you. So please do join me for the class. That's the third session and I'll be waiting. Okay, so it's time to say bye-bye to Komal ma'am. But remember, Komal ma'am, Loves you a lot. Bye, Bachars. Bye for now. See you all soon in the next class. Okay? Bye bye. Here comes a video for you all. Please have a look. Hi, everyone. We are excited to have you here in today's fun filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended, which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you have attended recently. Next, 
it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I am eagerly looking forward